Hi everyone, today we're going to study implicit differentiation. Let us first define implicit functions. Consider the following equations. Equation A, y equals x squared minus 2x plus 1. Equation B, x squared plus y squared equals 2. Equation C, y equals x squared plus y squared. We can see that the first equation has the x variable in one side and the y variable in the other side, whereas the variables of the second and third equations are mixed. The first equation here is called explicit function, while the two other functions are called implicit functions. From the beginning, we learn how to take derivative of explicit function. In this video, we will study how to take derivative of implicit functions. Let us now study this implicit differentiation. To find the derivative of an implicit function, recall the chain rule. The formula is d over dx of f of gx equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. This time, we're going to let g of x equals y. So we have d over dx of f of y is equal to f prime of y times dy over dx. Let us see this example 1. Find dy over dx if x squared y equals 1. We have two solutions here. Solution A is by using rule of differentiation. First, let us rewrite the function as y equals 1 over x squared. Let us simplify further the right side and this is equal to x raised to negative 2. Now the derivative y prime equals negative 2 x raised to negative 3. We can rationalize our negative exponent so our answer here now becomes negative 2 over x cubed. This is our derivative. Solution B is by chain rule. In here, we're going to show that we're going to take the derivative of both sides of the equation. So we have d over dx of x squared y equals d over dx of 1. Please notice in the left side, we have two functions here. In fact, product of two functions. The first function is x squared. The second function is y. So let us write the product rule. d over dx of f times g. This is equal to f times g prime plus g times f prime. Applying our product rule in here, so we have x squared. We copy the first term times the derivative of y. That is 1 times dy over dx plus we copy now the y then the derivative of x square is 2x and this is equal to the derivative of 1 this is a constant so we write 0 simplifying our left side we have x square times dy over dx plus 2 xy 
equal 0. This time, our purpose is to isolate dy over dx. We start by transposing these two xy on the right. The right side now becomes negative 2xy. Let us divide the equation by this x square. So we have dy over dx equals negative 2xy all over x square. We can see that we can cancel the x in the numerator and one of the x in our denominator. So we simplify this into negative 2y over x. There is a variable y here that we can simplify further. We can observe that based on our function here, the value of y can be equal to 1 over x squared. Let us use this value of y and substitute here. So we have now negative 2 times the quantity 1 over x squared all over x. When we simplify this expression, we will come to the final answer negative 2 all over x cubed. Example 2, find dy over dx if 5y square plus cosine y equals x. Let us show that we are going to take the derivative of both sides, as we see here. And then the left side becomes d over dx of 5y square plus d over dx of cosine y equals d over dx of x. Let us now take the derivative of each of the functions. So we have 10y times dy over dx plus derivative of cosine y will be negative sine y times dy over dx equals derivative of x is 1. On the left side, we can factor out the dy over dx. So the left side becomes dy over dx times the quantity 10y minus sine y equals the right side, which is 1. Let us divide the equation by this quantity. So we will get the final answer of dy over dx. This is now equal to 1 over the quantity 10y minus sine y. This is our final answer. Example 3. Find dy over dx if y square equals x square plus sine xy. Let us show again that we want to take the derivative of both sides. But in here, we will simplify further our right side. So it becomes d over dx of x square plus d over dx of sine xy. The left side is the same. Let us now take the derivative respectively. The left side becomes 2y times dy over dx equals derivative of x square is 2x plus derivative of sine is cosine and we copy the angle xy times the derivative of the angle xy. We will copy everything and then we will take the derivative of this xy, another product function. So we have the x times the derivative of y will be 1 times dy over dx plus the function y times the derivative of x, which is 1. We can simplify this derivative into x dy over dx plus 1. So we have the derivative here as a binomial 
we will multiply each term by cosine xy. So it will now be x cosine xy times dy over dx plus y times cosine xy. We copy the 2x down here. The left side will just be same. Our next objective is to put all terms with dy over dx all in one side of the equation. Look at the left side. We have a term with the dy over dx already. On the right side, the middle term has dy over dx. So let us transpose this to the left side. So it will be like this now. And on the left side, we are going to factor out the dy over dx. And it will be like this. dy over dx times the quantity 2y minus x cosine of xy equals the right side will just be same. So we want to isolate dy over dx. Let us divide the equation by 2y minus x cosine xy. So dy over dx is equal to 2x plus y cosine xy all over 2y minus x cosine xy. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.